Hi, I'm Anne McKinnell. Thanks for joining me. So today I have for you 10 Lightroom tricks that will make your life easier. So let's get right to it. Tip number one is build previews. So when you're in the library module and you're looking at a collection of images, you'll go to view an image full screen. And as you move from one image to the next, you might have noticed that sometimes Lightroom takes a little while to build the preview. So as you go from one to the next, the image doesn't come up right away. So there is a way around this. What you do is select the first image in your collection, and then you shift click the last image, and you can go library, previews, build standard sized previews. You can also build the one-to-one -one previews, which will allow you to see at 100% and it will build the 100% previews. I usually just go ahead and build the standard sized previews so that when I'm scrolling from one photo to the next, I don't have to wait all the time while Lightroom is building it. So I just go build standard sized previews. Now, I guess I already built the previews for this selection because it says no previews were built, but ordinarily it will go through and build the previews for you. And if you have a lot of images, you can just go do some other task while Lightroom is busy doing this. And that way, when you come back, it's really fast to go from one image to the next in your collection. Tip number two is auto advance. So as you're going through your images, I'll go full screen on this one, you use the, the P key to make your pick, or maybe you might use the one key to add a star or something like that. So if I'm on this image here and I go P, that's great, it flagged it as a pick, but I'm still on the same image and I would have to manually go to the next image and decide whether it's a pick or not. So in this tip, what you do is you go to Photo and select Auto Advance. And when I do that, if I use the P key now and go pick, it moves on to the next image. So you can see down here in the film strip, every time I do this, it moves to the next image. So it makes it very quick to select your picks. And just as quickly, I can go through here and use U and unpick these ones that I just picked as flags. Tip number three is solo mode. So I'm gonna move over here to the develop module and you'll see I have these panels here on the right hand side. I have the basic panel and the tone curve and this goes on and on. And if you want to get something to the, towards the bottom, there's a lot of scrolling that goes on in order to get where you want to go. So in this tip, what you do is you can right click next to any of these panel titles. So don't, don't right click right at the bottom, right beside one of these titles. You right click and you pick solo mode. And that way, only one of these can be open at a time. So if I'm in basic and I want to move to detail, I just click detail and it closes basic and opens detail. So it makes it a lot quicker to navigate from one panel to the next. Tip number four is how to reset a slider. So uh, let's go back up here to basic. And let's say I make a change to this dehaze and I, I turn up dehaze here and I go, oh no, I, I just want to reset that back the way it was. I don't have to click the slider and try to get it exactly back to zero or, or click in the number here and type zero or anything like that. You can reset just this one slider simply by double clicking on the name of the slider itself. So that makes it really quick if I decide, oh, I want to, I want to reset two of these I can just quickly do it just like that. Tip number five is crop overlays. So I'm not very big on Lightroom shortcuts, uh, mostly because I use lots of different software and I'm not gonna memorize shortcuts for every single piece of software, but there are a few that I do use in Lightroom. So I'm gonna click the crop tool here. And once you have the crop tool open, if you use the O key on your keyboard, you can change the crop overlay. So I'm hoping that you can see this okay in the video. Right now it's on the rule of thirds. And if I click O, now I've got the spiral and now I have uh, the dimensions for a four by five or five by seven. And I can keep clicking the O button, the uh, O key on my keyboard to get different overlays. And that helps you just choose the crop that's right for the photo.
All right, I'll just close that crop tool. Now, tip six is the F key on your keyboard. I like to use this F key uh, and it displays my image full screen. So I click F and now this is a bit bigger because it's the full screen of my computer, which is bigger than the recording I'm making here. So what it will do is show your image full screen so that you can really see all the details. Tip seven is the L key on your keyboard, which is for lights out. So if I just click the L key, it makes the background go a little bit gray and I click it again and it makes the background go completely black. So again, this is another way to view your image without any distractions. Tip eight is the backslash key on your keyboard. So if you click the backslash key, it will show you the before and the after. So you can see the result of all of the changes that you've made in Lightroom. So you just keep clicking it for the before and after. Tip number nine is virtual copies. So I've made a whole bunch of changes to this image and I like it the way it is, but say I wanna just try out something else without losing what I've done here. What I can do is go back to the library module and uh, let me go like this to see the grid. And what I'm going to do is right click on this image and pick create virtual copy. And what that does is just create a copy of my image. Now it's not like creating an entirely new uh, copy of it on your hard drive or anything like that. It's just kind of a database link to the original image and I can go make another version of it here. And then when I export it, it would have the settings that are applied to this version. So I can go ahead now over into the develop module and I can do something else here, or maybe I might want to go and um, apply effect in another program or something. So for example, you know, maybe I want to change this one to black and white, you know, or I could, I could go into split toning and change the highlights to another shade or something like that. Whatever I it is I want to do, I can play around with it here and not risk losing the uh, settings I applied to the original version. Now, if I decide, okay, that didn't really work out so well and I don't really want that uh, virtual copy anymore, again, I can just go back to the library module, right click on it and just go remove from collection. And there it's gone. So my final tip, tip number 10 is sync settings. So I've spent a lot of time on this one image in this collection here and I've made a whole bunch of changes to it and gotten it just the way I like. And there are a few other images from this collection that I would like to just apply these same settings to so that I don't have to go through the whole process. So what I can do is select all of the, you know, all of the ones I want to change. So I'll just pick, you know, a couple of rows of these here. So these are selected and I can go down here to the bottom right corner and just pick sync settings. And now I can select, you know, do I want, do I mean the crop too? Or, you know, maybe I don't want to sync the crop, but I want to sync everything else. Whatever you want to choose in here, you can go ahead and just click synchronize. And you can see them coming in here. All of these settings are being applied to the other images. All right, well, these are all the tips that I have that I think are going to make your life easier in Lightroom and really speed up your workflow. And I hope you enjoyed them. See you next time.